Hey everybody, it's Mike and Denise. We're out on our daily walk, getting our daily vigorous aerobic exercise and 12,000 steps. And we got another video for you about iodine. I know you've probably heard of iodine in salt. If the average person out there, that's probably all they know, but, and you, and you think you gotta have salt to get your iodine. You don't even know why you need iodine. So that's what this is about, iodine. And where do you get it? The top 10 foods, top 10 foods that are plant-based. Denise, go ahead, let us know about this one. Are you looking for ways to incorporate incorporate more iodine into your diet? Iodine is an essential mineral that your body needs to produce thyroid hormones, which Ooh. are responsible for many important functions in your body. Unfortunately, many That's people, our water bottle if you hear that noise going. <laughs> many people don't get enough iodine in their diets, which can range which can lead to iodine deficiency and a range of health problems. While a, while many people turn to iodized salt as a source of iodine, this form of iodine is a supplement and is not ideal. Well, no supplements are ideal. No. It's removed from the whole plant. If plants are good and whole plant, and you know, like eating the, the intact plant is good, eating the isolate of the nutrient is the worst way to get that. In this article, we will explore the top 10 iodine rich plant foods that you can incorporate into your diet to ensure that you're getting enough of this essential mineral. The importance of iodine. Before we dive into the top 10 iodine plant rich foods, let's take a closer look at why iodine is so important. Iodine is a mineral that is essential for the production of thyroid hormones, which regulate your metabolism, body temperature, and other important body functions. So if you don't get enough, you're not gonna know when to stop eating or start eating. You're gonna be, temperature will be all over the place, right? And a couple of other well, things. I, I know it gets too low at night if you have a thyroid issue. Really? And that's because generally you don't get enough iodine in your diet. Could be. Without enough iodine, your thyroid gland can't produce enough thyroid hormones, which can lead to a range of health problems, including goiter, hypothyroidism. What's goiter? Uh, you'll have to look it up. Okay, well, by the way, we have the text of these, all these articles on our YouTube channel right around the same time when we release this video. The full text and the hyperlinks and also on my Facebook profile at Mike Young, the full text of the entire article and all the hyperlinks for sources. So including goiter, hypothyroidism, and intellectual disabilities in oh children gosh. born to iodine deficient mothers. Whoa. The problem with Does anybody ever salt, check for that? I'm, your iodine levels what no. <laughs> I know they're, they're you can test for it, but tests are so expensive nowadays. And most people eat junk food. Uh, so I guess the only way you might be assured you're getting it because everyone dumps added salt into crap and eats it is to put it in your salt, right? I guess I guess this makes sense. If you're if people are going to have major health issues, which it sounds like if they don't get enough iodine, but what if you don't eat added salt, which we recommend don't eat added salt. How do you get it? That's what this is about, right? Yeah. The problem with iodized salt, many people turn to iodized salt as a source of iodine, but this form of iodine is a supplement and is not ideal. In fact, consuming too much salt can lead to a, a range of health problems including high blood pressure, heart disease, and stroke. And by the way, everybody consumes too much salt. Unless you're actively trying not to consume <laughs> added salt. The average person, I think we've done some articles on this, the maximum level per day is 1,500 milligrams. The average person gets like 3,500 milligrams, and it's, it's progressive. The minute you start to eat added salt, your body will attempt to rebalance, and the way it does that is by retaining water. And when it does that, it raises your blood pressure automatically. It's, this is an automatic process, so you do not want to add salt to your diet. It's better to get your iodine from whole foods, particularly plant-based sources. Top 10 iodine-rich plant-based foods. This is it. One, seaweed. All seaweed right. is one of the richest sources of iodine with some varieties containing up to 45,000 micrograms of iodine per gram. Holy moly, okay, that's huge, but it's also a massive source of sodium. <laughs> okay, so seaweed. yes, seaweed. So that is, in my mind, it's an awesome thing to know that this is a top way to get it, but I wouldn't do it. I would find the rest of them, two, three, four, five, these numbers. 
However, it is important to note that seaweed can also contain high levels of arsenic, so Ooh. it's best to consume it in moderation. Yeah, and anything in the sea is a bunch of, it's basically growing in the lowest point where all the water runs off into, and who knows what goes on in the ocean. People are dumping crap, literally, all kinds of stuff illegally. Mm -hmm. So I would not, go, yeah, all, kind, uh, all waste, toxic waste, everything, you name it. Number two, navy beans. Navy beans are a great source of iodine with one cup of cooked beans containing about 64 micrograms of iodine. Do we ever eat navy beans? No, we should switch them What out. are navy beans? Are they blue? Are they like a They're navy blue? Navy instead of black. Uh, okay. <laughs> They're also high in fiber, protein, and other important nutrients. Number three, potatoes. Potatoes are another good source of iodine. That's what we do. Particularly if you eat them with the skin on. Yes. <laughs> One medium-sized potato with the skin contains about 60 micrograms of iodine. All right, that's what we say, potatoes, for sure. Number four. Cranberries. Not French fried, not fried potatoes. <laughs> cranberries. Cranberries are a good source of iodine with one cup of fresh cranberries containing about 400 micrograms of iodine. Whoa, they're also a group from the 90s, if you a band from the 90s. The cranberries. They're also, yeah, they're <laughs> also high in antioxidants and other important nutrients. Number five, lima beans. We don't do those. Lima beans are a good source of iodine. I don't think I've ever liked lima beans. I like them on my salad. Really? With one cup of cooked beans containing about 16 micrograms of iodine. They're also high in fiber, protein, and other important nutrients. Number six, spinach. Spinach is a good source of iodine. We need to eat this in our smoothies and I didn't even know this. With one cup of cooked spinach containing about six micrograms of iodine. It's also high in iron, calcium, and other important nutrients. Number seven, Swiss chard. Swiss chard is a good source Dave of iodine. Dave has that at the farm. He grows that all the time. With one cup of cooked chard containing about six micrograms of iodine. It's also high in vitamins A, C, K, as well as other important nutrients. Number eight, soybeans. I, I, I didn't know that one either. We eat these all the time. I make yeah. soy milk Yeah. at home. But we throw away the, the, the husks. I'm not sure if the iodine is in there or if it's... I think it's just milk. part of the bean. So if we were eating uh, part of the bean that's worked into the water, the milk, I think we're getting it. Soybeans are a good source of iodine with one cup of cooked soybeans containing about 50 micrograms of iodine. They're also high in protein and other important nutrients. Number nine, strawberries. <laughs> strawberries are yeah, I didn't know that one. a good source of iodine with one cup of fresh strawberries containing about 13 micrograms of iodine. They're also high in vitamin C and other important nutrients. And number 10, kale. <laughs> Kale, kale is a good source of iodine with one cup of cooked kale containing about 23 micrograms of iodine. It's also high in vitamins A, C, K, as well as other important nutrients. Other health benefits and negatives of each of these iodine-rich plant foods has its own unique set of health benefits and negatives. For example, Seaweed is also high in antioxidants and other important nutrients, but it can also contain high levels of arsenic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cranberries are also high in antioxidants and other important nutrients, but they can be high in sugar if consumed in large amounts. Well, that's amounts. okay. I think that's okay. <laughs> it's important to consume a variety of iodine-rich plant foods to ensure that you're getting all of the important nutrients that your body needs. The importance of certified healthy vegan food. Eating as much certified healthy vegan food as possible is as important much as possible. for your overall, overall health and well-being. Certified healthy vegan food is prepared food that meets certain criteria, including being free of animal products, artificial colors, flavors, and preservatives, and being made with whole, minimally processed ingredients. By eating a certified healthy vegan food, you can ensure that you're getting all of the important nutrients that your body needs, including iodine. Yes, yeah, so when you get your iodine with certified healthy vegan food, you're getting all the fiber and water as well. And if you're eating it from added salt, not only are you getting added salt, which you don't need, to way too much sodium, it's devoid of the plant form, which means it doesn't have any fiber and water in it. 
In conclusion, iodine is an essential mineral that your body needs to produce thyroid hormones, which regulate many important bodily functions. While many people turn to iodized salt as a source of iodine, this form of iodine is a supplement and is not ideal. Instead, it is better to get your iodine from whole foods, particularly plant-based sources. The top 10 iodine-rich plant foods top 10. include seaweed, navy beans, potatoes, cranberries, lima beans, spinach, swish art, soybeans, strawberries, and kale. By incorporating these foods into your diet, you can ensure that you're getting all of the important nutrients that your body needs. All right. So, what's the takeaway? Everybody needs iodine, it's important. Your body will get totally screwed up if you don't get enough. And don't, if you're eating plant-based, you're eating vegan like we are, you gotta eat the whole foods and make sure you use this top 10 list, it's very important. Um, what yeah, else do I have to say? Don't get your iodine from salt, that's a supplement. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Read Dr. Campbell's book, Whole. He'll explain why you can't, you can't undo a bad diet with a pill you just can't <laughs> yeah there's no no shortcuts please give us a thumbs up uh my book live 250 has more about this it's totally free at liveto150.org and that's about it for now we'd love to hear more ideas for videos let us know in the comments and let us know any of your other feedback in the comments please and definitely subscribe if you don't already. And we'll see you next time in the video. We're going through a tunnel now. It's going to echo. Echo. Bye.